Alright, let's go on into the hydro hut. So. For starters, I got rid of a lot of plants. Gave a lot of plants away. I'd like to show this one though. Turn this off so you can actually hear me. This is a Chinese five color plant. These little peppers, when they get ripe, they're pretty hot. You can probably see there's a lot of peppers on there. And they are delicious. They go through all different color stages. Pretty cool looking as they're changing. Alright, here's a pine. A, uh, a kind of pine. Scotch pine. It was about yay high, now it's about yay high. Go to the other pine just because. There's a fridge fur. Yeah. Alright, so I cut back a couple of hobbit arrows because they weren't doing anything anyways. But this habanero happens to have uh, I hope you can see these a couple of habaneros on it. Yeah, you can see those definitely. Um, there's these peppers. I'm doing alright. I only got a couple of peppers on it. Uh, I cut down the string bean because it's turning yellow and gold. I planted another one. I actually took one of the string beans and just ripped a couple of the beans out of it and this one's starting. It's kind of hard to focus but there's another one that's starting out of that. I didn't think they would because they're hybrid but well, at least from what I've been told. Okay here's this pepper plant right here. It's got these on it. Here's my coffee plant, which is, uh, it gets up to here. As you can see, it's, it's beautiful. Um, not sure what this one actually is. It's got some good growth, but I think it ain't giving me no peppers yet. It's alright, I'm sure at some point. My two prairie fire plants are ready for me to start pollinating them. They are awesome looking. And even more awesome looking. Chocolate boot chillo kia. Mm -hmm. Chocolate ghost chili. Y'all know what those are. Here is my Peter Pepper plant. It's uh very bushy. It's very cool looking. Um, a very full plant. If you look at the boot, it's very open. This is a real thick. My carrots. Well, I pulled one up today. It was about like two inches of actual carrot. So I don't know. We'll see. I know those take a long time. Here's my regular top fed tomato plant. Here is a uh, big tall plant but I only got one tomato. Here's another one which I just leaned down pretty hard on. Kind of feel bad about. But this is my global bucket system which is doing excellent. I haven't put water through the top of it once but I've been all the stuff I rip up I put oh there's some carrots right there. All the stuff I rip up I put onto here is kind of like I don't know if you call it natural fertilizer but just me to get rid of all the crap that I ripped up. Um, here's another little tomato. These are big boy tomatoes if you're wondering. Um, hopefully they'll do something more than just a tomato or two. These ones that look empty aren't. I just started a couple of sweet banana pepper plants. 
Um, hopefully those do okay. I got some uh, some vinegar in here. This is some apple cider vinegar. I had some white vinegar, but I ran out of that. I don't know if you can see a lot of bugs. Mmm, bugs. They like to. Well, this is a new one. I just put in just a few minutes ago. But they love to drown in this, and I'm okay with that because this is in my spare bedroom, and my girl's gonna kill me if she keeps seeing bugs. But yeah. I gave away a lot of plants, but that's okay because this is this is a good amount of plants for me right now. Um, yeah, okay. Bye bye.